everyone. So my talk is on universal breast cancer screening. And here now on screen, you see a map of Breast Check Ireland. Now, Breast Check is the universal breast cancer screening program available to all Irish women. And you can actually see that there are a few scattered locations of uh, screening locations around the country. But if you imagine for a second that you are like Mary there or blue patient on screen, one of the 600 women from the Iron Islands, well, in that case, you will be traveling for over two hours to reach the nearest screening location. And actually, you only have access to the scan if you're aged 50 to 69 years old, even though over 20% of all breast cancers detected in Ireland last year were detected in women under the age of 50. Even more, the scan that you're getting might turn out as healthy, which is great news, but you will have traveled a really long, expensive, and the necessary journey for it, or it might be insufficient to diagnose you, and you will have to be sent on for biopsy, which is both painful and invasive. So how can we do better than this? Well, I work with this new um, uh, radar-based breast imaging technique, um, which is a potential solution to many of these issues. It's low cost, it's uh, pain-free, it's comfortable, and it's portable, which means that we can deploy it to all clinics and GPs around the country, much like our, our Islands GP surgery here on screen. So uh, it simply works by transmitting a radio wave into the breast. And what we do then is we collect all of the reflections that come from, for example, um, tumors. So uh, keep in mind that a key enabler to this low cost technology is machine intelligence. And that's exactly my field of research. So by using machine intelligent algorithms, I am able to look at the reflections from tumors and understand if they come from cancer or healthy patients. And most importantly, I do this in a pain-free way. So these machine intelligent algorithms work, uh, generally speaking, by number one, drawing one point per patient scan on a map like this one. The algorithms are then able to learn from all of the scans, and they learn how to separate between scans that come from cancer patients or scans that come from cancer-free patients. And, and then I'm able to luckily diagnose Mary here as healthy. So great news altogether. Uh, so in conclusion, by using this low-cost radar-based breast imaging modality, I, uh, with, uh, in, in combination with the machine intelligent algorithms that I work on, we're finally looking at creating an actually universal breast cancer screening and diagnosis tool that can be deployed to all clinics around the country. So finally, Mary won't have to travel that really long, expensive and unnecessary journey to know that she's healthy. And all women of all ages in any part of the country will have access to regular, pain-free and low-cost breast cancer screening and diagnosis. Thank you very much. Great, thank you. And I'm sorry for the slow introduction for that. It's um, okay. <laughs> a quick, quick question. Yes. Um, conventional techniques have about a kind of 10% accuracy that some people have uh, diagnosed with without breast cancer but actually have breast cancer. What's the accuracy of your system, do you think, uh, will be? So Obviously, we're still training our system, but uh, I've been seeing accuracy rates of about 80%, 80, 85, which is good, but it can still be improved on. And uh, most importantly, I've been seeing uh, lowering in the rate of false negatives and false positives, which is exactly yeah. what uh, you're asking, which is, I think, what we're going for. 